Welcome back to another video. This time we are going to talk about Sony and Microsoft because obviously these two are going at it, right? So Microsoft, we, as we know, made a deal to purchase. They haven't purchased it yet. They're in the in pursuit, I guess, or in progress to purchase Activision slash Blizzard. All right. With that being said, I think it was yesterday or maybe the other day. You know, I lose track of the days. But Sony's, uh, what is it? Uh, their value dropped, market value dropped by a lot since the announcement of that deal, right? So it's really interesting how things are going right now. And I feel bad for Sony because the reason why Sony it's hard for them to compete with something like that because they don't have the funds like Microsoft does. They don't have $7 billion to buy a gaming studio or anything, right? So, but what they do have, what they do have is creativity. They have the best games to play on their systems. Yeah, I love Halo on Xbox. Uh... Gears of War is pretty fun. I'm not a big fan of it, but it was fun. You know, the series. I played the first one, second one, third, fourth, fifth. I haven't played the tactics, but Gears of War is fun. And plus, they have Forza Motorsport, right? That series. They also have FIFA. I don't play a soccer games, so I don't care about that. But it's still a popular game on their system. But Sony has Sony PlayStation. As of right now, of course, they lost Crash Bandicoot to Microsoft in that deal. And um, um, Spyro, they lost Spyro in that deal. It used to be their, you know, their mascot for their system. But now Microsoft owns it. But all is not lost because what happened? Well, they're creative. Sony has the creative, the creativity that Microsoft doesn't. Microsoft just has the money. They just want to buy all these studios, right? So to me, it is going to be interesting to see the two use their uh, their specialty in competing against who is going to be the better console this generation, right? So Microsoft has the money, but they don't. They lack the creativity. And since 343 Industries bought or adopted or bought Halo, the Halo franchise from Bungie, it's been the best. Halo 5 sucked. I didn't like it. Not, they didn't even feel like Halo. It just felt like some sci-fi shooter game that anybody could play. And Halo 4 was okay, but you could see where it was losing its 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 fundamentals from, right? From that, from Halo 4 forward, it just started going downhill. But Halo Infinite, that's a good-ass game. I'm not going to lie. That, that is a good-ass... It's not the best, but man, they really brought it back to its roots big time. And I'm still finishing up Halo Infinite. I have not finished it yet. I think I might be close to the end. But so far, the game is really feeling like Halo should be. All right. So Microsoft has that going for them. Plus that big deal. But Sony. Now, Sony does have uh, Last of Us. Great game. That what made me a Sony fan all over again was that game. Because I was a Sony fan back in PlayStation 2, but PlayStation 3, I was like, eh, I wasn't really into it. You know, I was more into the Xbox 360. But the PlayStation 4, when I rolled around, I really didn't try it. I went to the Xbox One. But uh, Xbox, which just didn't have the games, it just, the generation, it just made me feel kind of depressed. You know, so I bought me a PS4 Pro. And then my first game was The Last of Us. That's my first time playing Last of Us. I played the remastered on PS4 Pro. And when I played that, man, that game was terrific. I loved it. Man, it made me just love to be a gamer again. But uh, now Xbox seems like it's buying up a lot of studios. I don't know if that's a good thing. It could be, you know, for competition-wise, but... As far as like a one company owning a lot of other companies, I don't know about that. That might be a little uh, overwhelming, but only time will tell. Might be a good thing because I know Blizzard Blizzard games were kind of falling apart too. As far as like Diablo, like when they mentioned the mobile game, man, there's so much to talk about on that. 
I'm not trying to go off subject, but really what this video is about is about Sony and Microsoft and where they stand as of right now. Now, Microsoft has not completed the deal with, you know, the purchase of uh, Activision and uh, Blizzard. It's going to be finalized sometime, I think, in June of next year, 2023. So that actually gives Sony kind, kind of time to figure out exactly how they're going to compete against that because Game Pass is wonderful. That's a, that's a great deal. If you haven't got Game Pass, I recommend getting it. If you have an Xbox or just... You know, the xCloud is pretty good. You can still play games even if you don't have a system. You can play it on your phone. You know what I mean? And a lot of us have phones now. So, But the competition is starting to get interesting. But Sony is releasing a lot of great games this year. A lot of their exclusives. But, of course, some of their exclusives are not getting ported to PC. But, you know... PC is a whole different world, just like Nintendo. Like, those two are, like, their own little thing. Really, what the main, like, the core of gaming, where it stands, is really between Xbox and PlayStation. So, Sony does have the creativity. Doesn't have the money like Microsoft, but it has better creative developers and storytellers and designers, in my eyes, right? So, that means... That what that means is Sony has if they can use their creativity and just stick to that, they they want to win this war because I feel like I feel like right now I think this year they'll have the upper hand, but as time goes on, they're gonna if they don't continue to push out great games like they have been, I feel like it's gonna be tough for them to compete against Xbox or Microsoft just in general, because Microsoft also has the PC. But um, it is going to, you know, when it comes to games, it's going to be hard to compete because I know Microsoft, like maybe 20, 20, 20, 2023 or 2024, they're going to be dropping games like there's no tomorrow. They're going to have so many because they got so many different studios and all these studios are going to just be making games, game after game after game after game. They're going to have so many games like it's going to be crazy for gamers to even play because there's going to be so many of them. So. Like, even streamers, like, they, that, that do this for a living. Like, I don't even think they can do that. They don't think they can play that many games as that Microsoft is going to be able to put out in, in a short period of time with all these studios they have. But Sony does have the creativity. And I mean by that, they have, like I said, Last of Us, great game. First game I played on PS4 Pro. They got, uh, what else? They got Spider-Man. They have four, or they have Horizon Zero Dawn, Forbidden West that's coming out next month. You know they have uh they have uh, what else do they have? I know they oh they got um um Demon Souls. They have so many great games. I'm sure I missed some other ones too, but they got so many wonderful. I, I just love every single exclusive they have. I had I just I didn't dis dislike them at all. They were like. Fun, every single one of them. I loved every single one of them. Not unlike Microsoft, where I didn't, I, Gears of War was okay. Don't play FIFA. And I really don't play Forza Mortar Sport or, For, or any of the Forza games. So I'm really, you know, but Halo is one of my favorite uh, series on the Xbox, but it's not like it, it fell off. It lost its touch. And it's coming back, but still, you know. Now, Sony has so many I, I had no complaints That's the word I was looking for I had no complaints With any of Sony's exclusives So I feel like If they could just continue With that trend <laughs> Bringing out these Just classic You know creative Just original games Like they would Microsoft could spend a trillion dollars. It would not compete against that type of work on Sony's end because they just they just make they make me be they make me feel good to be a gamer. And I know I'm kind of mumbling my words, but I'm not trying to. But it's just there's so much to say about what's going on right now because it's it's just crazy. Like I never thought as a kid what I ever thought I'd reach in my late thirties where I will see game companies compete like this like this to me this is the most serious competition in gaming ever 
you know, and I know Microsoft is keeping some of the titles on PlayStation, but that, you know what I mean? I, Sony should be like, well, why can't that be us doing that to Microsoft? You know what I mean? So why can't we get some of Microsoft's, maybe like get a piece of Halo and say, hey, you know what? We get to keep, we're going to go ahead and let you keep Halo on your systems. That, you know what I mean? So it's like Sony has to really, uh, right now they're going to have to really step up their game just a tad bit. Like they're there. They just got to do a little bit better. And I guarantee you for the foreseeable future, they will will have a great competition at Xbox. And the thing about this is that we're going to get a lot of great games, guys. Like, for real. Like, we're going to get a whole lot of great games that I'm just so ready to play. There's going to be so many of them, though, that I know I'm not going to have time to, like, play all of them. But, man, you just don't know how excited I am because this kind of competition, this type of, co type of competition is what brings great games to consumers, to gamers. You know what I mean? And this is a good thing. This is a good thing for gamers because this is really going to have to bring both Microsoft and Sony's best out of them. Because, uh, you know, I'm sure, you know, there's to me, I don't think there's a console wars, but, but this kind of action and this kind of like choices that Microsoft has been making, oh, they're saying, hey, we want to compete. And yeah, there is console wars going on. So, I don't know. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be the most funnest generation, this generation, and ever in gaming. Because the competition is now getting so serious. And, um, yeah, this is going to be interesting going forward. I'm looking forward to next month. There's a lot of great games coming out. Dying Light 2, Horizon, or, uh, Horizon Forbidden West. And uh, I'm looking forward to playing both of them. All right. And if you enjoyed this video, you guys know what to do and hit that like button. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to my channel so you can get, get great content like this every time I upload another video. So that means hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell, and select all. That way you won't miss one video I upload throughout the year. I hope you enjoyed this video because I know like going forward, this is going to be like, this is going to make me make make me want to make a lot of more videos about what's going on between Sony and Microsoft. All right. Thank you for watching. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed the rest of your day and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.